Hello, welcome back to the channel. What made Leatherman's early years such a success? Let's take a look. In 1983, according to the multi-tool timeline, the Leatherman PST will come out. And I will be using the multi-tool uh, timeline for all these multi-tools. So in 1983, the Leatherman PST will come out and it will be unique in that it has an extremely pocketable multi-tool. One of the first multi-tools out there to hit the United States. It will have an extremely pocketable multi-tool with many of the essential tools. We have on this side, we've got a Phillips, we've got a file, micro driver, can opener, we've got a knife, we've got an awl, and we have got the straight screwdrivers as well. This is a very pocketable multi-tool. I have to say from carrying these early Leathermans, I basically do not even fill them in my pocket. Really unique. 1986, just three years later, Leatherman will not just sit still. They will design another multi-tool and this will be so innovative in that it's a mini multi-tool with a full length capability of the multi-tool pliers itself. So these handles that you see, the can opener and the can, uh, the can opener on the one side, the bottle opener on the other, you will see they pack two multi-tools, a screwdriver with a file included and then a knife. And they will fold into this really unique package where you have a full length plier head that compacts when folded down to a extremely small multi-tool. In 1994, Leatherman will expand yet further and come out with a super tool. Now this will hold the same capabilities as a super tool today, but it still feels like a little bit more of a minimal package. We have got the serrated knife, we've got the saw, we've got the Phillips can opener, we've got on this side the knife, the file, many different screwdrivers, and the awl. Now, just for instance, this is a later version of Leatherman 300, and it just feels like this one is a little bit more bulkier and a little bit harder to carry in the pocket than the original one. The original one really was, even in a heavy-duty version, very pocketable or more pocketable. And then in 1996, Leatherman will come out with the last two of the first five multi-tools, the PST2. The PST2 will add a hard wire cutter. It will also add a combo blade in this version with scissors. And we will find a uh, several screwdrivers on this as well. On the other side, we've got a file, a Phillips, the can opener, and the micro driver. The PST2 is actually one of my favorite early version Leatherman multi-tools. I plan to put a pocket clip on this and actually uh, put this in my rotation for daily EDC multi-tool uh, on the weekends when I'm not at work carrying my Leatherman Surge. I really like the PST2. Then in 1996 also will come the Leatherman Micro, one of the longest running, I would say, multi-tools that Leatherman has ever had. And this will be the scissors multi-tool micro based it will have the tweezers it will have the phillips if you notice in here it even says uh, for phillips it's sort of hard to read that writing for phillips there it is right there then we'll we will have this combo multi-tool the tweezers we'll have the knife the nail file uh, nail scraper and then also the uh screwdriver there as well. I really like the Micra multi-tool. It's a really good scissors base multi-tool, probably one of the best, if not the best, and the small size. I use this uh, many, many times for different tasks, and it really works out good as sort of a personal uh, grooming tool as well. All right, so all these multi-tools have just really fantastic function. I would say one of the secrets to Leatherman's early success is they pack so much function in a small package. Seems like we've sort of got away from that in the modern multi-tool era where everything just grows larger and heavier and bigger. Even the Leatherman OHT, I uh, think about that is pretty bulky package, Leatherman mutt and so forth as well. 
So in the beginning, Leatherman really captured the market with pocketable multi-tools, and they still really perform an amazing function today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.